Not scared to use a hammer on a downhill bike, man. Don't be scared. We're done with the wagon wheel in the back, just in the front. It's good that we can change in this bike, go back and forth. But it would be nice if I did bring the red rear end and not have to paint it myself. But I think I've done a decent job. A different swing arm just pretty much makes the bike 27 in the back. Uh, adjusts the telemetry, geometry, that makes it perfect for 29 or 27. Or you can do the same in the front by adding headset cups or not. So it's pretty cool. Back in America, well like, I mean I grew up in the Midwest and live on the West Coast now. And we're on the East Coast, but it's still America. So we're home, we're happy. Everything doesn't suck. Just basically stripping everything down, uh, cleaning everything up after last week's race. Uh, found a couple of bearings that were not ideal, so we'll put new ones in for this week. Probably should have pulled them out and uh, gave it a bit more of a clean uh, throughout the week, but um, everything was running running well and not making any noises. And uh, when I dropped the shock out, it was it was all moving freely, so um, I was happy with it last week. A lot more time today, um, so make sure everything is 100% uh, and not just 99. The plan here is uh, we're going to do open air market. I think we sell some vegetables and maybe some meat. And yeah, we're getting ready for a uh, farmer's market today. Yeah, here we are. This is it. We're just stripping it all down from the race last weekend. Um, Dean crashed, there's a bit of damage done to the bike. So we'll just sort of evaluate that and go from there. <laughs> Done a decent job of it, so he, he crashed and just threw him straight over the handlebars. So it's, it's on the internet somewhere, so <laughs> have a sus. So you got a full uh, square frame? Yeah, it's all ready to go. So if we need it, it's right there. Me too. Uh, we're just doing a little freshen up just to try to get these guys all in order before their first run so that uh, they can go out there with a whole new clean setup and be really close to where their race setup will be. So we want them to be exactly totally fresh and, and everything at ground zero so that when they start up we'll see how everything goes, see what, how the conditions are, see how dusty it is, see if it's muddy and then go from there. Thanks Evan. Today we're just going to give everything a good clean up. We've got some tyres to change, disc stuff to change from the onslaught that was Monty and Anne, so get ready to go. None of us have seen the track yet. We're going to walk the track in about an hour's time, so once we've walked the track, I probably think we'll maybe change chainring size, front tyre size, and possibly settings. I've heard it is quite slippy, so we might need to slow things down a little bit just to make sure we get that grip. Just arrived like from Montana and the bike is pretty much dialed because I uh, time to work on the bikes uh, after our race. So just a quick check uh, and then the bike will be good to go. Yeah, she had a, she had a crash uh, after she crossed the finish line. So I just need to change the um, cable housing. Um, but we went through many wheels, rear wheels, but no, the frame's good, like suspension's good. Everything's pretty dialed. So. Just to take it all apart, make sure it's all good. Clean everything out, put it back together, locked tight in the right places. Uh, there's quite a lot of grit, and it's in stuff like cable guides and the jockey wheels and the bearing I'm about to pull off now, probably have some in it. Bits and pieces that don't run so smooth. Yeah, it just makes it all run a lot better. Daily delivery for Fox, track walk day. Suspension get a bit of love. Yeah, the usual World Cup life, I guess. It's pretty quiet right now. Everybody's still kind of setting up and figuring out where they're staying and digging bits out of the trucks. So we just got set up and got a few forks in, so we're gonna start doing a little bit of work and just kind of see how it goes today. Our stuff's actually really good in the wet. It's actually like dry, dusty stuff is way worse. The water tends to keep everything clean. It doesn't get past the seals, but the, like that fine powdery stuff will drag past the seals in the oil. So the product's all fine. It's just making sure. 
It could easily be raced another few races, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, forks and shocks, normal for a track walk day. All the factory teams come in because riders are out all day. It's an easy day to get the bike stripped down and get us through the suspension. And yeah, it's like Groundhog Day. It's just like fork, shock, fork, shock. We're switching from open air market to mountain bikes. It's, yeah, no, it's gonna, be, gonna be better. I mean, everybody else is doing mountain bikes, we're gonna do mountain bikes. I think it's gonna be good. <laughs>